What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy here and this is the long awaited iPhone 4S review. I wanted to take a few minutes to play with the device or hours or days, sorry guys, but I wanted to give you guys an honest opinion and the number one question that is being asked is how much different is it from the iPhone 4? And uh, the, the truth is, I'm gonna be honest, it's not that different. You know, physically, if you were to look at the two, you'd think they were the same, but this one has a much improved camera and that's the most compelling feature as far as I'm concerned um, as well as the other feature that's getting a ton of press this Siri feature now I'm probably gonna get some haters on my next comment but I don't really believe that Siri deserves the amount of press that it's got um, you know it, it, it's voice recognition yes Siri's a little bit smarter a little bit more sophisticated understands context a little bit better but deep down at the root of what this feature is is it's something that was available on different platforms for a long long time it's something that's been in the works for a long long time um, yes this is Apple's version and as we know Apple does very pretty things they they make everything run a little bit smoother so on and so forth but um, does it deserve all the press that it's gotten um, I'm not sure and does and here's another thing that kind of pisses me off about it is that I don't believe it's hardware limited. You know, I've heard of people already um, hacking it onto their iPhone 4s and it works properly. So what is Apple really doing here? Are they are they trying to, you know, designate, um, you know, uh, a, or, or create a, a better reason to upgrade, trying to put features in even though they, they could be available through a software update? Who the hell knows? But in truth, to me, this is more of a novelty than anything. And on top of that, it has terrible performance in Canada. Some of you guys know that I'm up here in Canada, and um, what that means is that finding things like restaurants and uh, getting you out of a jam if you're lost or even trying to find directions, all that kind of stuff does not work in Canada. Apparently, Siri is an American employee only. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe it works in other countries, but here she's constantly responding saying hey That's not available in your area. It's probably the most annoying thing and it probably has uh, contributed to my hatred <laughs> All right enough of the hate. Let's talk about what's good this device has moved the antennas around a little bit and Hopefully the outcome of that is improved reception so far. I've got really good network speed uh, in using it a very good speed around the device yes there is an A5 chip in here now, and what that means is that we're getting improved performance, and the device is behaving very quickly, responding very quickly. The web browser just moves right along, and I'm going to go ahead and say that this is definitely faster than my Nexus S, which I've been using, um, pinch to zoom, so on and so forth. This thing behaves exactly the way that it should, and then some, so... Definitely not complaining at all about the speed in and around the device. Again, though, in comparison to the iPhone 4, is this a deal breaker? Are we talking about saving an entire afternoon while browsing the web because it's that much faster? No, we're not talking about that level. But now, let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> the camera. This is the best camera I have ever used on a phone in my life, and I am not exaggerating. I say that for a couple of very specific reasons. Yes, it's got a flash available. It's got HDR available. Um, it's got a grid available if you if you want to use that to line things up. But most importantly, it fires off shots like it's going out of style. This thing just pops them off rapid fire. And the reason why that's important is because photography is inherently about capturing the moment. And moments are fleeting. They don't last forever. They're there and then they're gone. So if you're sitting there waiting for your camera phone to autofocus... You're out of business. You didn't get what you wanted to capture, and you really didn't make the photograph you could have made. So this particular device is 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 it's, it's an experience to use it. You guys know I'm into photography, I'm into making videos here, um, but it's a real experience to use. You got a physical button now when you're taking photos, and and that has a big impact. Hey, it also does 1080p video now. You notice some beautiful double stuff Oreos here. <laughs> Uh, I decided to take it to the supermarket. Lots of colors and things to look at. Um, the focusing distance is uh, is is not too bad. Actually, you can't bring things super close, but uh, you can you can actually get items fairly close while keeping them in focus. And you've obviously got that improved aperture now, um, f two point four aperture, so you can actually blur the background in images and uh, get a get a sort of more professional um, you know effect. That, that you can get out of obviously bigger aperture lenses when you're using digital SLRs and the like. 
Um, the other thing it's got is obviously it's got the forward facing camera for those of you that like to look at yourself or those of you that like to look at my camera setup. <laughs> Um, in and around the device, I mean, it's 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 fine. I mean, it's good to use if you've used an iPhone before. You you know what it's all about. Here's a physical comparison between the iPhone 4S. There was the iPod Touch, and then it's sitting there on top of my Nexus S. And here's something that's interesting. Um, you know, the Nexus S is a four-inch device, right? And and everybody was thinking, hey, maybe we're gonna get a four-inch device out of out of the iPhone this time around. And then I heard some people arguing, hey, 3.5 inch is a perfect size for a screen, you know, because, you know, your thumb can reach all the way across, so on and so forth. Now, I agree, yeah, 3.5 is nice. I mean, I can easily get from one side to the other, but I never had a problem with 4 inches. You know, I've been using this Nexus S for, well, a while now, and, and I never had a problem reaching across the screen at all. I can reach the far corners, the bottom corners, so I think that this question has more to do with the size of your hand than it does necessarily with which size screen is right for everyone. I don't think there is a size of screen that's right for everyone. And uh, as a result, I think you've got to try these devices out. If you can't use it with one hand, if the screen is so big that that one-handed operation becomes difficult, then I'd say it's probably too big for you and you got to look elsewhere. But I've never had a problem with four inches. So, you know, if Apple did release a four inch iPhone, I don't think things would change that drastically. I think I could still very easily operate it and um, probably enjoy it more because of that fact. So anyway, guys, I don't want to come off sounding like a hater. This phone is is beautiful to use. And, uh, you know, I would totally consider replacing my Android phone um, if it had a couple more things. Like I've grown so used to the back button on my Nexus. I just couldn't imagine living without it. Um, but if you're a photographer, if you're into taking images on the run with a device that is always on you, you cannot beat this this phone. I mean, this thing is is unlike anything I've used before in a phone. So if that is the number one thing that you use your phone for, besides making calls and texting, <laughs> then then uh, I would I wouldn't look anywhere else. I mean, that thing is beautiful. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't come off too critical. Like I said, it's it's a beautiful phone, um, and, and you're not going to go wrong if you purchase it. Um, and uh, otherwise, until next time, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you enjoyed this content, hopefully you can like and favorite this video as it does help me out a bunch. And until next time, thanks for watching. Later, guys.